do you want to know how you can connect chat gpt with your jupyter notebook and make your python programming easier how let's look into it first what you have to do is go to google and ask for jupyter ai assistant chrome extension so here you can see that it is going to open this particular link click onto it add this extension to your chrome browser great so it has added the the jupyter ai assistant into your chrome web browser next thing that you have to do is you require to set a model that you want as a default and what other thing you require is the open ai api key so to get the open ai api key what you have to do is you have to go to platform.openai.com this website once you reach over here you can see that i am already logged in you can log in using your gmail microsoft or any other account so here you can see that this is the login button and i am going to do the login using my gmail account once you logged in this kind of a window will appear then you have to go to this personal and then here you will see this option of view api key click on to this view apis here you will see that i already have some keys if you are logged in for the first time you have to basically create a new secret key and give a name over here let's say jupiter key and it is going to create a key for it copy it and save it for your reference purpose next thing that you have to do is go to the jupyter assistant and paste your key over here so whatever the key that you have generated you have to paste over here save this api key boom so the key is available and the model that you have to choose is gpt-3.5 turbo this is the free one so if you have already subscribed or paid gpt4 that also you can select so right now we are going to work on gpt-3.5 turbo now next thing that you have to do is you open your jupyter notebook so i'm going to open my jupyter notebook now by default it is going to generate a notebook in your microsoft edge browser or in some other browser depending upon your operating system now here you will see that we will get a particular link in the command prompt so here you can see that i have got this link i am going to copy this link and i will open this link in the chrome because we have the chat assistant installed in the chrome browser so i am going to paste this and here you can see that my jupyter is started next thing is i have to create a new python notebook now my new notebook is created and here you will see lot of options that are related to chat gpt so let's say if i write my code something like this a plus two so here you can see that i have my this code and it is giving a normal error over here now if you if i want to find out what exactly happened over here and i want to use chat gpt for that i want more description of it so in this case here you will see that there is an option of this debug button if you click on to it you will see that now it is giving me more response or more description of the issue so what you can do is you can debug and here you will see that there is an option of complete also so if you want to do completion of this code you can click on to this and it is going to write something like this and if you want to ask some question or review you can review your code over here and you see that it is giving me the description or the problem that it is facing and another thing is if you want to ask some question you can ask over here write a program to add add two numbers and hit control plus enter you will see that it has generated code for me i can copy this and use it 
in my notebook boom you see it is showing me answer so you can see that how programming can be made easier by integrating chat gpt in your jupyter notebook isn't it great so that's all i have for this video don't forget to hit subscribe button to get more content like this thank you